What's up guys, it's Devon Kennard here. And today we're gonna to talk about why being a successful athlete alone is not enough. And the four things I think you should do about it. Number one is you cannot focus solely on your career and nothing else. The reason why you can't do that is there's no certainty that you're gonna make it professionally. There's so many kids that are in middle school and high school who say they're gonna play in the NBA, NFL, MLB, WNBA, whatever your sport is. There's so many people who plan on making it, but there's no certainty. I don't know if you're gonna be good enough. I don't know if you're gonna deal with injuries. I don't know what's gonna happen and you don't either. So if your whole life is surrounded around making it athletically and you don't, what happens next? The second point here is, all right, even if you do make it, now there's longevity issues. Because in the NFL, the average career is less than four years. So even if you do make it to the NFL, if you only play two, three, four years, then and make a couple of million dollars, that has to survive you the rest of your life if all you ever focused on was that sport. So, um, and, and it's the same in other sports. You don't know if you're gonna be one of the few who play 10, 15, 20 years, who make hundreds of millions of dollars. I hope that everybody makes that. But the truth is a very small percentage in every sport reach that level of success and that level of earned income. So you have to be careful assuming that. And the last one is, you know, your plan A, people always say, burn the bridges. If you wanna make it to, this, to the NFL, that's all you need to focus on. Keep the main thing the main thing. My argument there is the main thing can be more than one thing. We're a multifaceted people. We have different aspects in our life. We have family, we have friends, we have sports, we have school, we have different things going on in our lives. But society wants to tell us that when we're focused on a sport, that's all we should be focused on. My challenge to you and everybody out there is Make sure that you're well balanced and you're in, you're doing what it needs to, what you need to do in your sport to be the very best that you can be to chase those dreams. But it's also when you put the cleats up for the day or you're done training to learn about something else that you want to do to to do something else and make sure you have a plan of action for what else you're doing in your life. It, it's pivotal. My next point as an athlete is to get your education and our experience. The reason why I say this is. Education is essential in getting a high paying job in a lot of different fields, but be specific. If there's a field that you don't necessarily need your um, education in, then okay, but there's other ways and other things you could be doing. Experience and relationships can be just as important. So you need to be gaining the knowledge and the relationships in some way. For most athletes, especially if you start playing collegiately, if you have an opportunity to go to college and it's paid for, I don't understand why people do not finish and get their degrees and do not make that kind of sacrifice because it gives you a leg up. For me, I got my undergrad in three years while I was at USC and then I ended up redshirting as a senior and I went and got my master's too. So now I'm eight years in the NFL and I haven't worried about school in almost a decade now and I don't plan on ever going back. So to have that perspective as an athlete, I think is essential. Get your education or if you're not getting an education, get your expertise in, in a lane that fits what you wanna do outside of your sport. And by doing that, you put yourself in position to be successful, to leverage yourself when your career is over. So that's huge. The third point is generate other income streams. It doesn't matter if you're a middle school or a high school kid, a college kid, or you're a professional athlete already. You need to be thinking about and finding ways to generate other income streams. For instance, if you're in college now, the new NIL rules, you should be looking to tap into that and figure out ways that you can leverage your situation to earn some extra income. This puts you in a position to get build some momentum and already have income coming in other places other than your sport. I think that's huge for athletes because I wanna play the game because I love it, not because I have to play it. I know there's guys out there who are struggling financially and and they're hoping to get another job in the NFL because they've been spending too much of their money. That's not a position I want myself to be in or anyone else. But if you start to already be thinking about what are ways that I can generate money? You could be a middle school kid right now. How are you gonna generate money when the position put, when it presents itself outside of your sport? How can you hustle and, and make a couple of dollars? How can you create maybe passive income streams because you're a college kid? The, um, when you have that mindset and you're always looking at and thinking of ways to generate other income streams, it opens your eyes to so many more opportunities 
And I think it's very unique time because there's people out here making money in so many different ways. You can be a video game guy and you love playing Fortnite and you can make millions of dollars doing that now. If you like doing YouTube like this is right now, you can make millions of dollars doing that. There's so many different ways to generate income and you need to figure out what you like, what you're passionate about outside of sports and how you can leverage that and put yourself in position. And the really good ones use their athletic position to leverage that. So for me, my whole career, I've recognized that no one's gonna be as interested in me as they are right now. So while I was in college, I'm a college, college uh, student at USC. Let me take advantage of it and network and find opportunities to make money or if it's not actual money, it's relationships that I think are gonna end up being fruitful in some way to me down the line. So I want every athlete out there to flip the switch and start to think that way. And the last step is build relationships. I think building relationships is so essential to athletes all over, no matter what stage of your career you are in, because it provides you the opportunity to open doors for yourself. And hopefully those doors will never close once they're open. That's my mindset. I want to network and build relationships with as many people as possible while I'm playing because I believe that no one is as interested in me as they are right now as a professional athlete. And that's been my way, it been that way most of my career since college. I was a USC student athlete. Let me leverage that. I'm an NFL player. Let me leverage that and talk to boosters, talk to alumni, network with people once I lived in New York City, network with people once I lived in Detroit, network with people now that are home playing for Arizona. And you open as many doors and build as many relationships as possible, especially in fields of interest of yours. So that way you have connections and you have people that you can contact that might be able to put you in a position to be successful outside of your sport. I see far too many athletes being so tunnel vision on sports and saying, I'm not gonna worry about real estate. I'm not gonna worry about investing. I'm not gonna worry about business. I'm not gonna worry about my brand or marketing. I'm just gonna focus on football, 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 basketball, whatever your sport is. And the issue with that is when you do that, you you have closed, my, closed yourself off to the only relationships you probably have are with coaches and players. So you better hope your coach gives you a job one day or one of your teammates does something along those lines. But if that's not the case, then you're, you're starting from scratch when it's time to build relationships in other areas. So why not leverage what you're doing in your professional career or your collegiate career and leverage that with to relationships outside of sport so you have options and resources to push yourself to push yourself forward and your life forward so that is a huge point and the last point that really needs to be made in conclusion the time is now wherever you are in your athletic career start to broaden your horizon and make sure your plan a is multifaceted you have to have more vision than just your sport. What else does your life look like outside of sport? And start to develop and foster that in different ways so you're putting yourself to, in position to be successful with and without your sport. And when you do that, sky's the limit. If you like today's conversation, make sure you like, comment, and share it and tell me your thoughts and your experiences and let's continue to grow together.